All right, it's time for the final episodes of Infinity Train Season 2. Like before, I'll record my live reactions to the episodes and then highlight anything interesting I may end up saying. And then talk about the episode in depth right after I watch it. But they they kind of look like the conductor too, huh? Was that already evident before? One one, I love you. <laughs> oh, dog bones. Very cool setting. This is very like portal e. <laughs> How many more times are they gonna kill animals in this show? Mini one ones. Like everything is cool about this setting. All the sound effects, especially, are sounding really cool. That's so cool. <laughs> I mean, if anything, it might just reflect off of her because she's metal. Just goes right through. Doesn't any, doesn't even work at all. <laughs> Some lady who's sad about her dead lizard. Oh, good job, you broke it. Empty violence isn't the answer, sweetie. Nani. <laughs> well, that was really cool. That was a, that was a very cool setting. Cool to see how the train like really works. Like they actually have in mind how the whole process starts and stuff. You know, I think it's it's great for them to not keep that a mystery and also make it very significant to the plot. But like everything about that setting was really cool and it was really emotional seeing MT fail to get a number because she literally can't because she doesn't deserve one theoretically in a way because of what she is. And even seeing like those very very brief glimpses of like those other passengers stories was like so cool and you could so easily like interpret entire journeys for those characters and stuff just based on those few seconds you saw there. So that was really cool to see and 1-1 one -one was adorable. Like always. <laughs> well, let's move on to our final episode. Still making Beyblades? Porter? I played a lot of Death Stranding recently, so that term's in my head. <laughs> One was just like, what are you talking about, lady? I love that conductor noise. More characters. Yeah, so did, did he force himself to get back on? To get empty? He really does have a really low number compared to the other guy we saw, though. That was a little too real, One One. This, this music is really good. It's getting to me. I like that his brother's just more than willing to believe everything he said. Robots encoding and juice boxes. <laughs> you broke the train! Oh no. Oh, I didn't even realize that. I love that one one doesn't even care about like the emotional stakes. He just wants the train to work the way it should. Whoa, jeez. The one one really just thinks like a computer. Like if it seems like it works, then he'll try to make it work. Well, now we just gotta hope that MT never runs into Tulip. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, grass, grass, grass. Oh, that was so well animated. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. we never got animation like that in the first season. Well, that was really cute. First of all, there's, got to, there's some sort of interesting parallel there where Lake ends off looking at her reflection, but in season one, Tulip ended off looking at the fact that she did not have a reflection. But yeah, wow, that was that was a great way to end things off. Definitely very dramatic. I'm glad One One got like quite a bit of screen time. We got to see him act in a way that like he didn't before. Now he's now that he's in control the way he should be, and he's just so focused on making sure everything works. It was funny to see him bugging out. It was really clever the way Lake was able to trick him and get themselves off. It was cool seeing them fight the last reflection police guy. And that bit of animation when she threw the grass through the door was like so amazing. Although now I have to wonder uh, what one, one meant when he said that thing about Alan Dracula there. But that was really good. I would definitely say, in my opinion, that that's better than the first season. If I had to rate this on my rating system, I'd probably give it an A minus, which is the same rating I gave the first season. So maybe the first season should be a B plus instead because I think this one is notably better, but that doesn't really matter too much. I'm sure if you're watching this, you've already watched the whole series and probably enjoyed it as much as I did. I think with this season, because all the mystery of the train and everything got revealed in the first season, they elaborate on that mystery that we already understand while giving us a really interesting new storyline with two characters who interact with each other in really funny and enjoyable emotional ways. Here it's just like a great character story with much more interesting settings and funnier comedy because the because of the way the characters are able to interact and stuff. Again, that bit of animation in that last episode with the grass like ups the rating significantly on the season. I think like just that alone very obviously gave me a lot of portal vibes, which is good because that series is awesome and nothing really ever comes close, but this came close. So I loved it and I hope you loved it too. I don't know if I'll do a full review of the entire season, or if it just makes more sense to have these individual episode reviews. I guess you guys can let me know about that. And let me know if you enjoyed these episodes and which season you liked better. I hope you enjoyed watching these videos as they came out. I didn't do this for the first season, but I figured it'd be a fun thing to try and it definitely turned out good. You guys seemed to like it. So I hope you enjoyed these videos and this season of the show. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to know when I post a new video. Also consider supporting me on Patreon for just $2 a month to get some cool bonuses. Thanks for watching, and super special thanks to my Patreon supporters.